All right, hey, this is Act 2 of the podcast. We're getting right back into it. If you missed Act 1, go back and listen to that thing. Otherwise, this isn't going to make any sense. Okay, see ya. All right. I don't know how the fuck we got on that topic. I have no clue. The open and live stream of this show is brought to you by my latest sponsor, EstateWise, found at estate-wise.com. You see this family right here? You got this dad, a hot mom. They're looking at each other, and she's looking at him, and she's like, I'm going to have sex with you all night because you've taken care of our family. And he's like, what do you mean? She's like, oh, well, look it. You know, you have your will and your estate all set up so that if anything happens to you, um, you know, your estate is not going to go into probate. And he's like, yeah, well, I was thinking about you, so I reached out to Zach Marco, and and he took care of it. And she says, well, because of that, we're going to bone all night. Look, I just got done doing this. If you notice, a lot of the things that are my sponsors, a lot of the businesses are ones that are helping you to, that, that you plan for the future. Services. Okay? If you do not have your ducks in a row when it comes to when you do, in fact, go to heaven, it's going to be a real pain in the dick for your lovely better half or your handsome better half or your kids. Because wouldn't it be a nice if it was just a process where okay all they have to worry about is you taking a dirt nap that's all they got to worry about because you have taken all the necessary steps your will is in order your trust is in order everything is in place so i want you to reach out to zach my buddy he is an attorney that specializes in this i just went through this entire process i said to him i go zach all right these are my beneficiaries this is what i have do your thing couple days later he goes all right i'm done sign here signed uh we read it over if something happens i have it all in place a lot of boring shit who's in charge of what also power of attorney um medical power of attorney if anything happens so both on the financial uh level and the medical level if something happens to you someone has to start making decisions for you god damn it so there you go Uh, Have that taken care of. Get your will and your trust, your estate all planned out. And I want you to go to estate-wise.com. If you miss any of this, reach out to me and I'll help you out. Very affordable to get this done. Uh, Make that phone call or reach out through the website, estate-wise.com. There is a phone number. It is 616-540-7544. Zach will answer the phone. And then your better half will look at you like this chick. My God. She's like, as soon as we put these kids to bed, I'm going to ride that pony. Donut Dan says, I already have one, but getting a trust keeps your kids from fighting over your crap when you're gone. Most of the time, the one that screws it up is the, is a kid's spouse. This is a very smart idea exactly because if you have just a will you're going to get one family member who's a real cock wait a minute this is contested i had a conversation with him and he wanted to give me this now fuck you i gotta trust magic misfit says seriously to to our friends in the chat So many GoFundMe's when people are passing away. Life insurance people. Separate, yes. Of course, I have a life insurance guy too, Frank Fuss. The will is simply the eye candy. You know, reading, I give you this and I give you that. The court wants the trust. to go. Oh, he has a trust. We have no business being here. Thank you, Dan, for helping me. This is my latest sponsor, EstateWise. They're awesome. Zach Marco is the guy you call. 616-540-7544.
I can't believe how good looking this long haired mom is. I need to know if he knows these people. Um, regardless, call Zach and say, I heard you on the easy show. Thanks for joining his podcast and supporting him. He needs all the help he can get because he's a fucking idiot. Rick from TC Paintball. By the way, I didn't mention it, but my man had to put Basil down last week. That's his old puppy dog. And I loved that dog. I still do. Basil, rest in peace. I'm so sorry, Rick. Didn't talk. I don't want to talk about why you're on the show. I'll just talk about it here. You really gave that dog a great life. I love it when people take care of their dogs. Every day he goes to work. He brings his dogs with him. Dogs are always hanging out with him. Uh, book an event at TC Paintball online at tcpaintballgr.com. Awesome. Group outing. The kids. Bachelor party. Uh, team building for the uh, for the workplace. Bachelorette. If you're like a hillbilly chick. All at TC Paintball. Fully stocked pro shop. They are the best. tcpaintballgr.com. All right. As I mentioned, uh, Frank Fuss. He's my insurance dude. Reach out to him. Buyinsurancehere.com. That's buyinsurancehere.com to get info about getting a life insurance policy. You pay a few bucks a month, and you're like, well, yeah, that's how does it work? Yeah, exactly. You pay a few bucks a month, and every day for the next 30 years, if you croak, you're covered. So then because you did this and you're not a dumb fuck, if you do happen to have an untimely passing, your sweet beloved family is going to get a bunch of cheddar to bury your ass and not have to do a, a GoFundMe. That's what Magic Misfit was talking about. That's why you call Frank Fuss. He's my guy. Buyinsurancehere.com. Now, I, I mean, even some of you old bastards, you need insurance, but I can see where you might be like, ah, fuck it. But you young families, oh, my God. Quit screwing around. Call Frank today. Uh, last spot, last commercial for this segment. Berlin Raceway is racing this weekend at berlinraceway.com. That's berlinraceway.com. Get tickets. They're $14. They are 14 bucks. By the way, um, I think I'm going to have the logo on a car next year. I'm planning on making that happen. More details later. I would have done it this year, but something weird happened. Uh, tickets, 14 bucks. They're free if you're 15 and under, and the parking is free. Bring in a cooler with all your goodies, snacks. Uh, if you're looking for something to do, go to the races at Berlin Raceway. Not going to lie, might be some bad weather this weekend. Not necessarily. It's not exactly the best way to uh, sell it. Hey, go to the races. It might rain, but I'm just letting you know. They will let you know via the website if the races are canceled and then your tickets are good for the next one um i made a decision yesterday because as you know i talked about i gave that dodge to jim aubrey and the kids it was a dodge journey it was a 2016 dodge journey we gave it to him you're going to have it. And then Jackie, um, I had that 2015 Civic Hybrid. Take the car. It's yours. And then I was like, I might need it again, though. And then I realized, you know, I can't do that. Just take it. It's yours. And then Madison's Accord, you know, it had the problems. Um, and I talked to you yesterday. Yeah, it, it's done. It's done. And then I... Uh, I went over to the dealership yesterday and the day before, actually, they said that I could do this. I might've talked about this already. They said, all right, easy. We're going to have the junkyard pick up that car from Irvine's. I'll give you a thousand bucks for it. And then, um, I went to the dealership yesterday and I saw my pal over there. I don't want to say any names because it's just kind of, we're in kind of a weird spot right now. And I'll get to that in a second. 
And then I'll explain why I'm not saying the names. And uh, he showed me a car called a... It's this car right here. A 2017 Hyundai Veloster. It's cute. It doesn't. It's not that color. It's this color. It's like a gray silver. And uh, it was priced right. High miles, 115. But that's 10 years newer than what she had. A million times safer. And uh, he let it go for a bargain basement price. He says, there's something wrong with the car. I go, what is it? He goes, it needs a new catalytic converter. I go, not a problem. I said, I got a guy at the muffler place. 400 bucks, done. He goes, okay, you can have it for 5,000. I'll give you 1,000 bucks for the car. So I'm like, you're, you're going to give me that car for $4,000. He goes, I'm going to give you that car for $4,000. I go, fuck yes. Bought it on the spot. Uh, at first, I was going to like um, make Jackie give Madison that car. But I didn't. I get. I got Madison this car, and um, because I mean, seriously, she can't be driving that other one. It's just. It's just. It's seen its day. It's a miracle she hasn't gotten in a wreck, from what I understand. So Jackie finds out that she got this car. She goes, "Why does Maddie have a car newer than mine?" I go, well, "I don't know. I mean, because you got that when it was. It, I mean, it was about the same. No, I, what?" I go, don't start. Don't start. Don't start. I don't, I don't do daughter-daughter rivalry thing. You get what you get, and you won't have a fit. Besides, you got this car like four years ago when it was uh, only five years old. This car is uh, uh, seven years old. So fucking relax. Now, this is at this dealership. Since 2007, I have purchased six cars. I was doing the math. That is over $200,000 in vehicles. I know this dealership better than most of the people that work at the dealership. But I gave you a story. I talked to you about how there's a guy there who runs a show who does not like me. How do I know that? Well, I had a meeting with him. Hey, I want you to use a new guy there. He's running a new boss. I had had other bosses there who love me. Uh, hey, see, the podcast is great for us. We sell a lot of cars because of you. Um, number three is my pal. And uh, number three said, I'm going to introduce you to new, new number one. Sat down with new number one. Um, number three said, Eric has helped us sell a ton of cars. He's been a longtime customer. Uh, we, we want to put him on. We, we want to keep uh, marketing on the podcast. Number one said, oh, okay. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate you coming in. No answer. Month goes by. I pop in. Hey, how you doing? Good. What? He yelled at me. The guy yelled at me. Not interested. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, big fella. I leave. I call back to number three. He says, sorry, man. I go, no problem. Fast forward the other day. I go, dude, I need a car. I'm still going to buy cars from you. I love the, okay, I love the cars. I love everybody that works there. I love everything about the dealership. I'm the man for this fucking dealership. I need to be talking about this dealership. The only thing I don't like is the guy who uh, told me to go fuck myself rightfully so who wouldn't you know but who cares i call up my guy I go look dude i need a car he goes okay and then this happens so i get the car i'm gonna pick it up monday um adam says yelling at a regular customer makes for bad customer service i was hoping that um when i went in there yesterday that i'd see him and he'd yell at me again so i could say is that any way to talk to someone who's about to buy his sixth car from you? Because that's what I'm doing. I was hoping I would see that. I would see him. 
Nick writes, I had to buy my first car from my parents. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I spoil my kids. I really do. Um, so, all right. Now I see the boss walking across the parking lot and, uh, uh, the, my number three said, okay, he just left. You can come on in. Cause I don't want to see him. I, I literally don't want to see him. And I go, yeah, I see him. He walks like a queer. Okay. I'm coming in. I come in. Hey, what's up? Okay. Let's do this. Cole writes dealership. Go fuck yourself. Zane Zane. I'll take six cars, please. Um, Kenny says, I co-signed for my daughter's car three months ago. Scariest thing I've done with my credit in a long time. She's doing awesome and keeping up with the payments, though. Rebecca says, big mistake, huge LOL. More specific, please. What are you referring to? Are you suggesting that because I bought my daughter a car that I have made an error? I'm curious what you mean by that. Because if that's your opinion, oh, Rebecca, Rebecca says that it's a pretty woman reference. Okay. I thought you were calling me a dumb fuck or something like that. I was about to kick your ass. That would have been weird. Um, anyway, so then I'm uh, talking to number three. I go, you know, you don't know this, but I'm on Big 101.3 in the afternoon. I go, and he goes, you know, that's interesting because the lady who works for Big 101.3, iHeart, I was just talking with her the other day. He didn't know I was on. I go, well, okay. So he goes, yeah, we haven't really done a lot with iHeart over the years. I go, okay, um... Well, how, how should we approach this? He goes, I'll tell you what. I'm going to call the sales rep and, you know, put a bug in her ear because you've been buying cars off us for 17 years. You need to be talking about us. And some, I mean, we really want the podcast, but obviously that's not happening because that guy hates your guts. Um, but radio might might be an even better option for us. Or it, he's, well, it, it's a good secondary option. I'm like, whatever, whatever. It's fine by me. I don't give a shit. I too would prefer the podcast because then I get all the money, but whatever. I don't care. I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. So in front of me, he calls the lady. Hey, la, 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 I want to talk about Eric Zane, big one, 1.3, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hangs up. Um, I also reached out to the number one at the radio station. I go, Hey, who's the rep for the dealership? He sends me, I explained to him what's up. I said, I might be able to get him on the air. Like I'm thinking on the air on big 101.3 with me talking about it. So I get the contact. So again, number three has already reached out to this lady. We want Eric Zane. Hey, friends, it's Joe Palizzi with my latest and greatest marketing partner, Mint Mobile. I know a lot of you have been through the ringer when it comes to costs with big wireless. As you know, what you see is never what you get. You ever have that happen where you get in there and you're like, okay, they're, they're like, you're going to get this, this, and this, and this, and then you pay us this. And you go, oh, yeah. And then, like, you get the bill and you're like, what the hell just happened? It's like bait and switch. And then you call in and you realize that you're screwed. So you're like, oh my God, I might as well just keep overpaying for this. Never again. Enter Mint Mobile. You never have to worry about the gotchas ever again. When Mint Mobile says 15 bucks a month, 
When you purchase a three-month plan, they mean it. I've done this. You should too. Say bye-bye to the overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. Mint Mobile is here to the rescue with premium wireless plans starting at $15 a month. My God! To get this new customer offer and your new three-month premium wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash Zane. Mintmobile.com slash Zane. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month and give the other guys the big heave-ho. Mintmobile.com slash Zane. All right, fine print time. $45 upfront payment required. That's equivalent to the 15 bucks a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speeds slower above 40 gigs on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Right after that, I text this lady. I go, hello, this is Eric Zane. I do afternoons on Big 101.3. Now, I identify myself that way because, honestly, some people might not know. I don't know if we've met before, so hello. Anyhow, I think I can help get set, get the dealership on the radio. Not Four hours passes. Hello. Thank you so much for the message. I really do look forward to working with you. They are already on the air. Bikita's already endorsing them, so we're good. And I'm like, I don't think you understand what I'm getting at. I'm not trying to get them on, like, uh, uh, win them over slowly but surely. I've already done that. They already reached out to you earlier today and said, EZ's the guy. <laughs> so I screenshot that. And um, I threw it over to, to number three. And I wrote, hey, uh, hey, hey, I'm not sure if so-and-so talked to you, but this is what she texted me. Number three laughs. I do face palm. I wrote, I'm not sure if she realizes that you specifically are interested in me talking about the dealership. I got C blocked. He writes, I'll get it sorted out. I wrote, can you imagine if you said we'd like Eric to talk about our dealership? And she said, no, he sucks. LOL. Uh, Dan writes, if you still have that bro Honda, put it on Facebook and sell it. Four wheel drive class guys at Berlin or uh, Berlin, Berlin. Four, I think you mean four cylinder. We'll probably give you 500 or more with a crap alternator. Now nah, I already cut the deal, man. Uh, the dealerships get the dealerships giving me a thousand, and they they get even more for it when they uh, part it out to Weller. Uh, Megan says, "Does Maddie want anything else out of the car before the tow? Ask her so I can grab it." I'll call you, Miss. So that's, in a nutshell, um, if you think about it, you got me for now 17 years, six cars, more than $200,000 in cars purchased by this place. I have number one telling me to go fuck myself. I have number three saying easy's the man to my boss. And my boss says, no, thanks. Well, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't need Eric. How about you let Bakita do his thing? And if they want to spend money with me, let them. Why wouldn't you do that? I don't understand that. If that's the way this goes, this is going to be so fucked up. This is going to be a new low for me when it comes to radio. Holy shit. All right. Um, 
I am going to take a break and be back with you. So don't go anywhere. You know the drill. Thank you to Jimmy Stinson. All right. Yesterday I did a uh, podcast when I got done, done with all my podcasting. I literally podcasted, and then when I was done podcasting, it was time to start podcasting. Uh, my pal Christian Blatt. We do a podcast called Who Are These Broadcasters? It actually gets more um, audience than this one. Why am I hearing static? I think it's from the air conditioning. Um, you know, when I, when I have 50 people watching, it's a big deal. That show regularly has 100 people live all the damn time. It's great. So anyway... We do the show, Who Are These Broadcasters? We play clips of news people and politicians and sports clips, and we laugh about it, and we have a good time. And uh, it usually starts at 3 p.m. on Tuesdays on the Who Are These Podcasts YouTube page, and then it's replayed there. You can watch it anytime you want. So if that's something you're interested in. Yesterday was a really, really fun show. We had a guest join us. He's a young man by the name of J.J., this poor son of a bitch. Oh, my God. So he's another aspiring content creator. And what I've learned in, over the years is, you know, people kind of make friends and uh, do partner shows and sit in and fill in. So this is one of those moments. And I, I hope he forgives me for talking about this. But, oh, my God. I hope he doesn't find out that I am talking about this. This is kind of like I'm breaking all sorts of HIPAA laws. Two minutes before we start podcasting, he goes, I got to take a phone call. <laughs> One minute later, he's back. Uh, there's a countdown clock counting down 60, 59, 58. It's all guys. He's got the bad news. 50 seconds. What? The doc has to rip out my colon. Oh, my God. 45 seconds. What the fuck? Why did you take the call? What? It's really like, what? <laughs> he's got, he's got like Crohn's or some shit. And, uh, you, well, you want to bail? I mean, you just found out some serious medical news. You, no, no, no. So talk about this little Clyde Frazier, you know, coming on the court injured. He's, he, he did the show knowing that his colon is going to go, it's going to go bye-bye. And I said, okay, 30 seconds. I go, Hey, look, you don't know this. Second opinion. Second. Yeah, yeah, second opinion. Easy's right. Get a second opinion. It might not be what it seems. You definitely got to get a second opinion. You'll just let somebody rip your colon out. I texted, uh, texted Christian this morning. Hey, yo. After dude gets his colon yanked, we should have him back and only refer to him as shit sack. We're like that. We're mean to each other. He says, in more than a year's collaboration, this is hands down the best idea you've ever shared with me. He says, we also start the show with banter about how easily you and I both shit that morning. Maybe even do a whole segment of our favorite dumps. Uh, I wrote, since he's poor, we'll make him dump it on his head to start the show for a hundred bucks. I know it sounds cruel, but we're just, it's, we're just a joke. Okay. That's what fucking dudes do. We joke. It's got to be okay. This too shall pass. Uh, coming up on the Patreon. I know I'm short today, but it's, I got a lot going on. COVID is coming back. Disney is being sued by a guy 
He brought his wife to a restaurant. And uh, she said, I'm highly allergic to foods. Um, can you assure me that this, this, and this is not in the food? Yeah, no problem. And then they gave her the food, and she ate it, and she died right there. So he's suing them. Open and shut case, right? Uh, no meathead today. Uh, Disney is making that very difficult. Then it, the, one of the most ridiculous claims to try to get a lawsuit thrown out. I cannot wait to share this story with you. Um, speaking of COVID, yesterday I had a, um, a tickle in the back of my throat. And the first thing I thought of was COVID. Because the first time I had COVID, it was that feeling. Very odd type of sore throat. It felt like that. I was like, hmm, weird. So I don't know. We shall see. Um, however, I have one more thing that I'd like to share with you. There is um, some dude on TikTok who's, I think, pretty popular. And... Uh, he goes around and he's trying to taste every different hamburger in Michigan. Now, this happened, this was published a week ago, and this person on TikTok was at Bosco's Pub. And I actually made this burger. Well, I helped make it. Doug made the meat. I assembled it. And put the fries on the plate and sent it out. The dude came in there, shot the video, and this is what he had to say. I wish he said more. First of all, does that not look fantastic? I think our buns are really great. They look like they almost have a, uh, a layer of um, crust on the outside. That makes them spectacular. That's a wonderful appearing burger, and it's not that easy to get a decent looking burger shot with just like an iPhone. But that actually looks pretty good. You know, sometimes if you photograph food, it looks like shit. All right, let's get into this. I think you'll be able to hear this. We are unboxing every burger in Michigan, and this is the B. Okay, hang on. BJ Burger from Bosco. We are unboxing every burger in Michigan, and this is the BJ Burger from Bosco's Pub in Hudsonville. Let's pop the hood. This grilled Angus steak burger has house-made bacon jam, grilled onions, bacon, and pepper jack cheese. The bacon jam is the star of the show on this burger. Where should we try next? Oh, keep going. Keep talking. Not long enough. 19 second video on the BJ burger. You can do better than that. Megan says it really is a good burger. Sarah says I didn't care for the BJ burger. Too sticky. She wrote, I didn't care for the BJ either. Who else is saying it? Uh, Chris writes, you cooking fries tonight easy? No, I'm gone. I am out of town. As soon as, this, as soon as my podcasting day is done, I am, I'm loading up the fraud bus and I'm leaving. No podcast tomorrow. I will post uh, best of shows. Not the best of shows. Stuff you haven't heard from, you haven't heard unless you listen on Patreon. So I will have material to post on the free platform tomorrow and Friday. And uh, tomorrow and Friday on the Patreon, I have... Something to listen to while I'm away. Old shows when uh, I was taking my time and using it to create the world's greatest morning show. Only to have it destroyed by fucking morons who don't know what the fuck they're doing. All right. Uh, before I let you go, and again, I apologize... Again, I'm in a state of flux right now. Weird things have been going on. Yesterday, I had to deal with the NFK's phone. Today, I have to deal with my schedule. 
I always want you to keep my sponsors in mind. These are my marketing partners, and I know you love me, so please support them. A&E Heating and Cooling, 616-516-8579. At some point, you will be in need of a heating and cooling specialist. If you are in West Michigan, please keep them in mind. 616-516-8579. That's 616-516-8579 for A&E Heating and Cooling. They can do after-hour service calls. They can tune up your equipment. They can replace your equipment. They can fix your broken equipment. They'll do it all. 616-516-8579. And they speak Spanish. The King's Room Barbershop is hiring. Online at kingsroom.net. You can work at one of three locations, Northland Drive, Caledonia, or at 821 36th Street. Get a haircut fit for a king. If you're a dude or a chick who likes short hair, get it cut at King's Room Barbershop. I get my uh, hair cut there, and they do an outstanding job. The haircut is going to set you back 19 bucks, and then you tip them. I always go heavy on the tip, always. Uh, I make it so that I'm, I'm out 29 bucks when I go there. Last time I was there, though, uh, Andy didn't charge me for the fucking haircut. I'm like, what are you doing? No. I don't give you the advertising for free. Don't give me the haircut for free, dick. Anyway. Kingsroombarbershop.com. Great local business and a great place to get your hair cut. Uh, 50 year anniversary this summer. I've been cutting hair for 50 years at King's Room Barbershop. Uh, you know what the uh, mantra is. Buy now, refinance later. Next month, the Fed is going to cut the rate. So the interest rates are starting to go down. The inflation in the month of July dropped. Okay, that is a good thing. That means there's light at the end of the tunnel. Let's uh, make no mistake. The reason why we have inflation in the first place was because of COVID. Everybody knows that. Anybody who tries to tell you was the president doing that is full of shit and doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. Uh, Van Dyke Mortgage, the Mario Flores Lakeshore team of Van Dyke Mortgage, 231-332-6505. From anywhere in the U.S., number one. In the United States for a reason. They will roll out the red carpet for you. Call from anywhere in the U.S. 231-332-6505 for the Mario Flores Lakeshore team of Van Dyke Mortgage. Um, I can't say enough about my beloved friends at Irvine's Auto Repair Grand Rapids Hybrid and EV. They have been with the podcast since nearly the very beginning. Have always been very, very helpful. Um... I just trust them, you know? I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing. Whenever you have a person who's going to fix your car, you want to know them, you want to trust them. And don't just take my word for it. Take the word of the people who don't have podcasts, who leave them five-star Google reviews. You can find them displayed prominently on their website, irvines.com, ervines.com. That's ervines.com. Ask about the free loan or car that they will give you to get to and fro while your car is being repaired. Megan says, we love you, too. We love you. I, how do, I always mix. What do you love more? Me, you, we love you. Too. I don't know. Yesterday, the asshole of the day was PJ's aunt. Today, who is your asshole of the day? think i know unless you have a tell me give me your suggestion i always forget oh shit how do you re i misspelled the word boss i i typed or i wrote b-o-o-s Tyler and I are always on the same page because he's writing down the same thing that I'm writing down. The asshole of the day is a car dealership boss. Number one is a real cock. Fuck that guy. Uh, All right. Thank you as always. That's going to do it for me. 
and I'll talk to you on the Patreon. Bye bye. I don't. If you don't hear from me on the Patreon, like if you're not on Patreon, then I'll talk to you Monday.